Welcome to our half hour special Plum Picks. I'm your host Jennifer Santiago and here's where we bring you all the best Miami has to offer from bars to beaches, fashion to food and of course our favorite celebrities. So we're going to start it all off with something a little different that you probably don't think of when you think of Miami and that's self-improvement. So for our first Plum Picks, best lessons in Miami. Think you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Think again. Summer in Miami is a great time to pick up a brand new skill and we've got you covered with these plum picks on the best lessons around town. So for our first plum pick, we are going to get our hands dirty learning how to make pasta from scratch just like grandma used to do in Italy. This recipe comes from chef Sandra Toscana who shows students how to make pasta from scratch and takes the finished product to the fire for a delicious but simple dish. I'm going to make some homemade pasta with a nice chunky shrimp sauce and arugula pesto. And uh, we're gonna use a very old family recipe, which is my grandmother recipe. Very easy, it's not messy, it's not like when you see making pasta, they don't, everybody think it's a lot of work and you're gonna see it's a breeze. This is called kneading, like the old fashioned kneading. When you're upset at somebody, it's good therapy. And the best part, you get to eat what you make. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen and onto the water with a sailing lesson from Aquatic Rental Center. I've been teaching uh, sailing for 23 years and I've been um, teaching kids and adults anywhere from the ages of 7 up to age 70. This next pick is definitely not for the kids. A R-rated art lesson in anatomy at the Art Center South Florida. Here students sketch in charcoal while a model strikes various poses at the front of the class. Fill in from the inside outwards. And if male models in Speedos aren't your thing, well, the Art Center offers a variety of classes throughout the year for children and adults. But our next pick is a must if you want to learn the ultra sexy salsa. One, two, three, and five. Let's get going. Beginners and more media dancers hone their Latin dance skills upstairs at Yucca, where three nights a week, Salsa Mia teaches students how to dance like a pro with passion. Friday night is our big night. We have a live band with DJs, drink specials and a two hour class before. From either a beginner or an advanced, they're gonna have a blast. We're a great spot to have fun, uh, meet new people, make new friends. Now that you know how to dance, how about providing the music too? Learn to be a DJ at Scratch Academy, the brainchild of legendary DJ, Jam Master J. First one I'm gonna show you, it's called the forward scratch, right? This is how you do it. It doesn't matter if you, if you play hip hop, or if you play house, or salsa merengue, if you play, um, country music, I mean, I've seen all kinds of DJs come in here, people from different countries that come in and they have this idea in their head, and like, I want to do this, I gotta like get this out, you know? Cooking, dancing, DJing, and more, learning a new skill is one of the best ways to entertain and impress, and the best things in life are plum. Now I can cook with one hand and scratch with the other. So now that we've taught you all those lessons, it's time to reward you for all that hard work. So that brings us to our next Plum Picks, which is all about indulging your sweet tooth. Now here at Smith & Walensky, they've got tons of great desserts like this chocolate cake. Oh my God, what are you bringing me? This coconut cake and carrot cake? Thank you, Alex. Wow, so um, while I indulge in all this, go ahead and watch our next Plum Picks for best sweets around. Oh, my diet, there it goes. Even if you don't have a sweet tooth, what we're about to show you will have the most committed calorie counters mouth watering. We are showing you the most decadent desserts around Miami for our Plum Picks, and we are starting it all off right here at Barton G. Wait till you get a look at what this chocolate is all about. A G Koozie. G <laughs> it's a bathtub of chocolate. The G Koozie is Barton G flamboyance at its best. This is one dessert where you're allowed to double dip, because there's no way you can have this on your own. And if a chocolate bath doesn't tempt you, maybe cotton candy will. Our next pick takes us across the causeway to Michael's Genuine Food and Drink, where we continue our feel like a kid theme with these Pop-Tarts and delicious strawberry jam donuts. We do anywhere from 40 to 60 orders of donuts at any given brunch. These are one of our best sellers for sure. Pop-Tarts, homemade Pop-Tarts, there's nothing like a homemade Pop-Tart. So much better than the box. No comparison. They really don't need any dressing up. They're perfect just the way they are. It's very simple. In Midtown, it's all about sugar cane and Chef Baloo's oh-so-sweet torejas. Torejas is basically a French toast from Spain. Uh, what we do here is we soak our brioche bread in a custard 
and we sear it and serve it with apples. So it's very simple, but we get a really nice crust on the outside and a soft pudding center. So it's very similar here in Miami to like a bless leches, but with a crustiness of the French toast that we all know. And for our last pick, Kilwin's Chocolate. Oh my God, I feel like a kid in a candy store, but literally has homemade nutcracker sweets, waffle cones, and everyone's favorite, fudge. A lot of people have compared our fudge to sexual orgasms. <laughs> and on a hot day on South Beach, don't forget to leave with some homemade ice cream. Okay, so what flavor is only available in this store? Well, we're the only store that carries Dulce de Leche, and this is because we wanted to cater to the Spanish community. So um, you should definitely try it. It's unique to our store. I'm half Spanish. Cater to that half of me, please. <laughs> Life is short. Have dessert first. Nothing beats indulging your sweet tooth with sweet treats, and the best things in life are plum. All right, from sweets now to soccer, because Miami was World Cup crazy. We had the highest ratings out of all the cities in the United States. Of course, the World Cup has come and gone, and Pupul Paul is now in retirement, but still, our next pick, best places to watch the cup, is also the best places to watch any sports event. So here it is, our next Plum Picks. No city in the United States watches more World Cup football than Miami. So here are our Plum Picks for the best places to watch the beautiful game. So a lot of bars and restaurants are jumping on the World Cup bandwagon, but Churchill's is an original. If you're going to root for England, this is the only place to do it. Right, Mr. C? Yes, England! Come on! Fun place to be. There's never any problems. It's been here 31 years. It's a landmark. What can I say? If Churchill's is the place to go to cheer on the Brits, Sushi Samba is HQ for cheering on Brazil. Every day Brazilian plays, we just bring Samba to the street. People come see it's a cheat for Brazil with the Samba, with the friends, having some Caipirinhas. It's a lot of fun. If you want to take it down a notch and watch the games in luxury, then Amadeus Lounge at the Ritz-Carlton Coconut Grove offers a calmer alternative for your World Cup watch party. It's really fantastic. You have all of the action of the World Cup, but you have a more beautiful setting. <laughs> JB Kitchen and Bar is the mecca for World Cup action in Brickell, and when Mexico plays, micheladas are on the menu. Great idea because these cure hangovers and with these early morning games, we're gonna need them. We've pretty much transformed this into uh, the place to be in Brickell. And for our last pick, we head back to the beach to the Clevelander, which is always a favorite for big time sporting events with big screen TVs aplenty and a great Ocean Drive address. No other city has caught World Cup fever quite like Miami, where the beautiful people love the beautiful game and the best things in life are plum. I'm still not over the U.S. losing to Ghana, but if the Dolphins make the playoffs, it's all good. So coming up next on Plum Picks, we're going to take you to the best hotel boutiques, and we're going to sit down with some of our favorite celebrity interviewees. That's all next on our half-hour special Plum Picks. Stick around. <laughs>